Oh, why hello there, and welcome back to the Matter Monkey Podcast, episode two hundred and seventy-four. 第两百七十四集 Today,、uh, we have a special guest. 没错，我们的、uh, 嗯， no? 你先说，你 no, 我我说。<laughs> 呃、uh, ，我们要来介绍我们的来宾，来自美国加州的 Nancy Hu。Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So Nancy、uh, came to our attention, or we came to, we talked, we talked, right?、Um, you got in contact with us after an episode. We talked about a movie called Don't, Don't Look, Look Up. Up. 对对，危机就是转机。Sta- 我们在讨论的那个主题。对对对对对。Starring、uh, the hunky, 嗯、mm. ，Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> He was very hunky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 对他以前好帅哦，他现在怎么变成这样？很帅，对啊。He's kept his hunkiness as well since Titanic, right? For for a long time. Yeah, he has. He had a baby face, but he's kind of grown it. Yeah, yeah. Oh、um, no! Your husband's there, right? Oh, I want to. Oh, they can't hear. Okay, no problem. No problem. They can't hear. Nancy is here as a climate change advocate, right? You're very passionate about the subject of of climate change. Climate change. And.、Uh, Wanted to speak to us and、uh, and raise awareness about it and and maybe、yeah. what we can do about it and that kind of stuff and、mm. um, got in contact and said hey maybe your platform might be a good place to talk about it but also interestingly Nancy's also、um, a English speaker and a English user at home、mm. with、uh, your your family as well 家人对 so also raising a bilingual family as、mm. well as us 我们也是 and a dentist <laughs> Tom 对牙医真的很，你很有兴趣哈。<笑><笑>不知道为什么你对牙医很有兴趣，但是 OK <笑>。Never talk to one in, I guess, in, in, in an interview situation. Yeah,、oh. we have we have we have some very good friends. Margaret, for example, she's a pediatrician. 对，小儿科医生。Cara is a neurologist. 脑科医生。So we have. 我们还有一个牙医。Now we have a 牙医 friend.、Ah, 我们现在在 collect，、yes. 我们在收集每个医生。他们是很聪明的人。Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Um, networking around the medical professions, but、um, as the, I know, climate change should be the, to the focus here. But I w- would like to start by saying welcome to the Mandarin Monkey Podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And、um, let's start a little bit. Do you mind if I start on your language before、yeah. we go into the the deepness of、yeah. the climate change? Nancy, can you introduce yourself? Your language background. 好好，我是我是 Nancy， 嗯、um, ，大家好，嗯、um, ，我是美国呃、uh, 出生的 ，I was born in America， 嗯、um, ，我的爸爸妈妈是从台湾来的，嗯、mm-hmm. um, ，妈妈的家是从湖南，然、mm-hmm. 后我的爸爸的家是从江苏，嗯、mm-hmm. um, ， oh. 在大陆，可是嗯。Um, During I think it was the 1950s or 60s when there was the communism,、yeah. um, you know, happening.、Uh, their family fled to Taiwan, and、mm. so that's where they were born.、Mm. Um, oh. So they, 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 And then my mom, um, she's in Taiwan, grown up, so she's um, she's done her school, she went to college and everything, and then when she um wanted to go to graduate school, she actually applied to a school in、uh, in the U.S. and the、uh-huh. only school she got to was in Chicago, um, uh, for for journalism, and so、oh. when she came to the U.S., her family and my dad's family met and they they got to know each other, they got married, and then、Aww. I was born in you, Chicago. Yeah. Oh, yes, so I'm one of three kids. Um, we have a brother, I have me, and my sister. Um, we were born in Chicago, or I was, yeah, born in Chicago. When I was little, we moved to、uh, California, and that's where I mostly grew up. Um, and so growing up in California, I was American-born. My parents spoke a little Chinese, and so we went to Chinese、mm-hmm. school growing up. Um, and it was it was okay, you know. 周末的时候，你要你要出去玩，你要上中文学校。It's like,、oh. oh, okay. <laughs> so that's actually what happened to my husband too. And so we're 
we know Chinese by, you know, by proxy, our parents would sometimes speak to us and then we would, you know, um, go to school and, um, it didn't, it didn't pick up for me a little more until, um, until we decided to have kids. And so when we got married and had kids, we knew we wanted our kids to have a better experience learning Chinese. And so we had a Mandarin speaking nanny. Um, and from that we had immersion at home, you know, that's like, yeah, it's a young one. It was, um, it was something that, this is yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, for us, it's just, it, yeah, it's anyway, but. yeah, it's a lot more expensive than if you were to send your kid to like nursery school or something. You know, if you get an American, like Caucasian, for some reason, um, I think the there's price inflation or something, but I, I think because our nanny also, um, had the England. Yeah, but if her English isn't very good, that's actually kind of a good for your kids, though, right? <laughs> so that's okay. It was a major plus for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because this is very, this this concept, very similar to in Taiwan, in China, in foreign teachers, 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 Mm-hmm. 因为他们会说英文嘛那他们也不会觉得说 oh, I can't speak 中文 So I need to put my fees down I, put, I need to put my pay down 他们不会他们就是还是很高你还是可以赚很多钱 mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you know, it's capped But yeah mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah I've got a question I need to go back very quickly Because you're, yes. you're a middle child I am So um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah I, 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 So do you feel how, how, how were you treated as a middle child? We have, we have three Right. So, oh, yeah. and we could get oh, told, oh, oh, the, the middle one is, you know, will feel unloved. And the, cause you spend all your attention on the, on the younger one. Child. Yeah. Right. No, I'm kidding. Were you, were you loved as a middle child? <laughs> you loved? I, I would say, sure. Yeah. I mean, there yeah. are moments, you know, you, you, it's the middle child syndrome, you know, right. you're, is you're that always true? going to be the second child who's not setting the, the path, yeah. but then you're always being compared to your older one. Sure. Sure. And then there's the younger one who is, you know, the baby of the family, yeah, yeah. you know, who gets away with everything. And so it's like, well, why am I being held to a different Aww. standard than that person? But, yeah. but, you know, to the major plus as a middle child, you know, in way, well, well, what the good, good, be what the son, so, you know, what the me, me, be what she else is. So, you know, I was the closest to either of them. You know, my yeah. sister was always like, Oh, the cook and the ma, the ma la, the ma cheese. You know, yeah. it's. Um, oh, I felt like I was able to relate to my brother pretty well, and mm. then I was also, if I wanted to, I could relate to, to my the, sister yeah. pretty well. So, yeah, kind of like a a peacemaker. So, mm. um, oh, good. That they, 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 I think it's okay. I mean, it's there's no there's no hostility or anything. Um, mm. They have their their connection, and so yeah, we, you know they they get along just fine. Siblings it's are just, siblings, you know, though, right? So. 因为我小的时候我跟我哥哥差十岁我们是 10 years different 然后我跟姐姐是十二岁所以我小的时候是没有朋友就是没有姐姐哥哥一起玩所以我就是还是觉得很lonely你知道吗然后我跟他们也 at home what do yeah. you speak? At what home, do you use? Yeah, what, what, what's the majority? We mostly speak Mandarin, um, okay. or at least we we very much try to. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I and my young Chinese. Um, uh, 可是我我的老公 Roger 跟我我们的第一个语言是英文，所以如果只有我们两个，我们会用英文聊天。他他的中文好不好？你的老公的。Okay. His his Chinese is much better in terms of what 
like the vocab that he knows. Okay. Um, he can read the the Chinese newspaper and he he can um he can read and write a lot better than I can. Um and so his his uh his, his profession is is engineering and so I think oh, great. with you know his mind always you know all these new things he has to to take on mm-hmm. he's always learning and so um I think that's just part of well part the, of you know those guys are saving yeah. the world so my hat my hat is off to your husband by the way <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> 就是在這個家庭裡面,你們真正用中文的時間是你們小朋友我我我不懂的時候嗎?對,對, oh. it's not something that's limited to a Saturday afternoon or something. It's something that's part of who they are. Mm-hmm. Um and so, you know, it, it's interesting because when I was growing up, I felt like every time um my my parents would speak Chinese to me, it was almost like in a way Tom and you know, so every time I heard it, I had kind of a, a negative experience, you know, yeah. ooh, ooh, you know, yeah. hearing it. And so even when um, you know, the the, the comment, gamma, you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Gamma. Oh, you know, that <laughs> and so they you papa the the um you know, I was starting to also feel that that feeling. But I think as our kids have have grown and you know, this is their first language, I've learned to to my relationship with Good. the language has definitely changed. And so I found myself even when I, you know, see a kid who's not Chinese, like I by default Quai, oh, papa, you know, just like it's kind of default. My, you know, mm. it's my baby language now to, to talk mm. to kids. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chinese. <laughs> 很棒啊。所以他们就是你的孩子们就是在学校是说英文，现在在家就是也都是中文了。如果他们一起讲话。有的时候他们会讲英文，然后我就说我不懂。Really？你说什么？You like with their with their own language acquisition, like did they were they slower than other kids, like monolinguists? Um, I don't think so. I think um, I I don't think that's something that I really worry about because they learn so fast at that age. They're just sponges, yeah. and yeah. so um, you know, when they first got to kindergarten, I know my I was a little worried. I think about um, Aaron. Um, because we were speaking so much Mandarin and everything. Um, but he, we, we also would read, you know, English books at home. And so he, he could get both, um, get both. And he's, he's picked up, he's doing fine. And Jeremy, Jeremy, the same. So right, right, right. that's not something we worry about because everybody speaks English here. So, right. um, but we, of, you know, like your situation yeah. it flipped. So. Right. Yes. Yeah, so it's a little bit different. Yeah. Our, our middle one, he, his, his input was entirely Dongwen and some Taiwanese mixed in, right? Mm-hmm. So that's all he got every day was in, 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 in input was completely Dongwen. Now he's come here. He's only really been learning English suddenly, uh, solidly for like five, five months. Mm-hmm. So there's like a definite lag between it, gap between him and the monolinguist, you know, kids here. Yeah. But I'm, I'm you know, mm-hmm. that, 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 Kyrie caught up. She mm-hmm. caught up. My man. R- 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. So, slowly but surely she's catching up and, you know, and they'll win when they get, you know, when they're, 10, 15, they'll be bilingual speaking the two most widely spoken languages in the, in the universe. Right. So, long term plan. Well, as long as climate change doesn't kill everybody before we get there. Segway. Segway.讲到气候变化,气候变化真的就是还是每一年,每个国家,每个政府都很like,很concerned的一个问题. <laughs> 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 mm. 我好奇为什么Nancy你会对气候改变会有这么兴趣 
保护我的小宝贝儿。所以 ，because you look your kids. I feel like it. It the light bulb turned on for me around the time when I became a mom,、mm-hmm. and、um, so Erling Ilio. Um, was a big year for us because、um, that was the year our, our second born,、um, Jeremy, was born, and、um, that was also a year when the politics in the U.S.、Um, changed dramatically. And uh, um, Trump, if, yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I just not be named. Yeah,、okay. no, he was he was、um, he was elected into office, and I knew leading up to that election moment, you know, he. He was very vocal on his views about climate change being a hoax, and、oh, was he was he a denier and, kind of person? Oh, for sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. He,、oh. You know, there. I don't understand those people. I don't understand them. I don't know why they. I don't know how that. Is it because he felt like he couldn't do anything, so he just gave up? No, it's not even that. There, it's interesting. Because there's a lot of people who feel like they can't do anything, so they just gave up. No, it's not even that. There, it's interesting how how polarizing now the the term climate change is in the U.S. and how. Um, there are people who、um, just, for some reason, it has to do with I think the the politics, the identity, who you identify with, and、um, no, I don't think Trump is in that、um, that、mm-hmm. category where they believe it's happening and that it's like a fatalist kind of view of it. I think it's a more it's not happening. You know, we have cold weather. This is. There is no global warming. <laughs> it's just right, flat right, out right. not、oh, happening. Which.、Um, Which you know, at that moment when I realized he got elected, it was very, it got very personal for me at that moment, and so、yeah. um, I knew that I, I growing up, I, I knew about climate change, but I, I kind of always thought somebody else was going to take care of it. The federal government was going to take care of it. Other people, smart people, are going to solve this problem before, before it becomes, you know, before it reaches us, like before we start to really experience the the effects of it, and.、Um, You know, when he when he got elected, that's when everything changed for me, and I knew I had to I had to make a change in my own life. Well, the show had to start to change. Change because of children. That that brings me on to a thing. Yeah. <laughs> What thing? A thing. So <laughs> I actually sent you a video <clears throat> by a,、yes. a group of people. Kurgish that I don't know whether you know of those people. They, they make,、um, I know Bill Gates is doing that. That video was with Bill Gates, and I, I saw the video. Yes, it, they do like a lot. They're a huge YouTuber, that fifteen million or subscribers. They're like a science-based channel that tackle these subjects in these cool little animation type things.、Oh. And they did a, a climate change one, and and the question was, can we actually? Like, I mean, ultimately, was can we actually do anything、mm. about it now? Yes, like, is it too late? This is also a mystery, right? Everyone thinks, oh, I can, 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 I It's, 但是也有很多人会说 ，Well， 你一个人在那边 working hard， 但是其他人也、mm. 如果他们不 care， 他们就是不 care。I suppose that's 所以就是有很两、yeah. 两边很不同的想法。Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. 对不对 ？So it, it's、oh, sure, yeah. It, it's it's really whether or not what has to happen. Do you think what has to happen for us to? And and by the way, I'm just not going to go into f- further or deeper into the denying thing because. Yeah, it's just a dumb. We are not、so、one of them. <laughs> no, and <laughs> no. and like, I, I think like ninety nine or ninety eight percent of scientists, or more than that, whatever,、mm. now currently agree that、mm. climate change is、yeah. the thing and it's having an effect. Is and, and it's is is blah blah blah. So、uh, I'm not. I don't even want to talk about because you're just feeding、yeah. the. So、yeah. um, yeah. what can actually what actually has to happen in your opinion for it to To change for us to try and reverse it, or、uh, for things to get better, what, what can can we do anything? You bring up a very good point. So <laughs> yeah,、uh, yes, we we can do a lot of things, and I think people don't realize、um, that that what we do in this generation, in the next you know ten, twenty, thirty years, even makes the next difference for the next how ten thousand years. You know, it's.、Mm-hmm. This generation, we are at the turning point, and that's what's so exciting about it.、Um, and what needs to happen is a lot of things have to change. There's a, a climate revolution already happening, and there's this whole transition to clean energy.、Mm-hmm. There's a lot of、um, you know things in the agricultural sector which are starting to change, and it needs to change faster. You know, this is the problem. Zero waste practices, and you know, it's the thing is like. 
people think of climate change as like, oh, she got a big mountain. Oh, we're from here to climb that high. Then, oh, how can we do it? You know, it's、yeah. like it's hopeless feeling. But they don't realize that we're actually it's we're at the the top. We're at the the peak of it, and so we just need to push a little bit more. We're already starting to go in the right direction. We just need to go faster.、Mm-hmm. And so the solutions are out there. I think it's just a matter of getting the the political will, getting our leaders、um, to. To enact them. So, so, talking about that. So, I mean, wouldn't it take a massive, like, a global scale, like, industrial,、uh, industrial change? I mean, it's not just me and you, you know, recycling stuff and whatever,、um, yeah. driving Teslas. It's it's、yeah. more it's more、uh, the entire like oil and gas industry has to change,、uh, or shut down, or change. You know, develop wind. You know, wind power or hydrogen or whatever it is, some alternative power, right? Um, mm-hmm. Renewable energies, as opposed to, but that would take that would kill so many bank accounts.、Um, mm, I, that's I, interesting. You bring that up, but you know,、um, you know, yes, we do need energy,、mm-hmm. but no, we don't need fossil fuels. It's like people have this idea that it's either you know you're going to transition to a clean economy or you're going to destroy the economy, but you can have it both ways, and so. You know, with all the retrofits that need to happen, with buildings, with all the transition to, you know, electric vehicles or clean,、um, clean vehicles, there's a lot of jobs that can be be made out of this. And so, you know, instead of thinking about it from such a big thing, oh, everything has to change.、Mm. You know, you start local. You start, you know, with your city. You start. With you know your community, hey, let's let's get some solar panels on this building, or you know you you support、um, like in California we have a lot of、um, community.、Uh, oh, the term is eluding me, but it's like、uh, community energy grids where you know you can select where you're getting your energy from,、mm-hmm. and so、um, we select to get our energy, even though we live in a condo, we can't get solar. But we're getting, you know, our energy from、um, solar and wind because of an option that you guys are so lucky there. <laughs>、mm-hmm. We, you guys are so lucky there. <laughs> lucky in California because your weather. We don't get any sun in England. <laughs> in Taiwan, would be a great place for solar power. You probably get、oh, wind. Your phone then. We do, yeah. We do, we do. Yeah, that's what I said the other day. Yeah, and water. We can have water and wind power here. 对，就昨天在讨论。Uh, 所以在加州现在那个呃、uh, solar power solar panel 呃、uh, mm-hmm. 太阳能板现在已经非常的 common 了吗？大家都在用了吗？不是大家 ，I mean I don't know no, the no, percentage no, no.。那越来越多呢？有没有就是越来越多的状况？ I think so <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> We're in the Bay Area, so you know、oh. it. It is a very tech place, and、mm-hmm. so you know it's it's not on every rooftop. I'll tell you right now. Of course, they're also very expensive. Oh, yeah, not so cheap. But they save you money in the long term. That's the that's the benefit. This is also a this is also a very big step. Ah, is if a country like Canada, like a country like Canada, like a country like Canada, like a 天气这么好的国家，然后也有这么多的 sunshine。那如果大家可以慢慢的，或是 even 政府，它可以帮助你，帮助每个人可以有办法去 afford 这些呃、uh, solar panel。那这样子。Government grants or something for that kind of thing. 就是这个是一个很大的 move 对。对对，大家来说，大家会看到哦。你看，加州 California 已经慢慢慢慢的在把这个计划做出来，然后 to complete it。这是给大家一个很大的动力，去真的去 see the problem， 然后看到别人正在 solving the problem。这个很重要的、啊。台台湾台湾的政府他们会帮你，对不对 ？They will give you for 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 Gogoro. For electric bikes, now they'll give you money to help you buy a an electric bike. 我觉得政府也是需要，就是 push 大家，然后给大家很多的 knowledge， 就是说，现在我们有一个，我们有一个 project， 我们需要来帮助地球，我们要救地球。那我们像台湾可能没有这么多钱，所以他们只能 help people get the electrical. Bike, 我觉得这个，我觉得这个很好。Yeah. 那 maybe 可能没有办法 help people buying the solar solar panel。那但是可以慢慢的 work on it。我觉得这个是政府可以帮助、可以帮忙的。但是就只能看政府要不要啊。Mm-hmm. 因为人民的钱也是 from 政府 ，right？ We have greed is one of the 
Also, also, also <laughs> America has a, has a problem just because people like Exxon Mobil and all these giant oil companies who are lobbying to keep oil and gas going. Mm, uh, right. EV companies, like, because I, I know, because I'm a Tesla fan, everyone knows that. Um, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, have, have been fighting these oil giants since their inception mm. because of, you know what I mean? Mm. And um, I, I feel like we're going to have a massive problem with this ongoing because they've got so much money, these. Uh, oil baron, like Russia and God knows what, you know, and the Middle East and this kind of stuff have monopoly on this, uh, in this, in the electric, in the energy market right now. But I hope there is, there is a, there's a tidal wave of change coming for sure. But I'm curious if fuel completely disappear, will make the earth change? Do you negative change? What by by stopping the re extracting oil and stuff? No, 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 because oil's supposed to be there. That's where it's supposed to be. That will be too much, too much, and then one day, everyone will have to use it. No, I don't think. Well, Nancy, what do you think? I'm curious. Well, to to go back to um a point um you know, government wants to help. Is really want to help. Um, right now, they. At least in America, there are so much subsidies. They have given so much money to the oil companies. You know, all the fossil fuel companies they get billions of dollars in subsidies through tax breaks and through you know all these things to make it so that oil and gas is cheaper. And so, um, I mean, that's what our economy currently runs on. And so, um, you know, by by having the government. You know, reduce the subsidies if they can to fossil fuel companies. Put a price on carbon if they can. Um, then it'll change the economy so that things, you know, are all the processes, all these things, a huge incentive to then decarbonize and use less carbon. And so, um, you know, the 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 federal government can play a huge role. Local governments, state governments can play a huge role in helping citizens try to make the 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 more eco friendly, you know, Juan Paul. Mm. So, uh, so why decision. aren't they doing it? So they need the people <laughs> to tell them that. And so politicians <laughs> are are very much they listen to money, they listen to their constituents, and they want to. They want to stay in power, and so by by staying in power, you know they want to they they want to know what what the people are going to say, and so they don't want to cause any ruckus or this and that. They want to be reelected, and so if the people are demanding something, they they have to listen. That's your go da shen. You have to be loud enough. Yeah, and you need numbers, <laughs> and that's why you know it takes it it takes numbers. It, you got to uh, form the connections with the community. Um, you have to speak up. You know, 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 you I mean, protesting is good, but it falls on deaf ears. Big, frankly, I think because of money. Well, mm. protesting is one thing, you know. Um, protesting is one is one thing, but other things are just, you know, showing up to to city council meetings or showing up to to vote. You know, a lot mm. of we have a lot of environmentalists who don't vote because they're disillusioned by the whole thing. And you know, I, I think voting people in power. I, we're lucky we have a democracy that we have it. Yeah, but, you know, are. it is. You know, we do wonder sometimes if it's if it's getting corrupted. And you're right; there are lobbyists, there are people with money who are influencing our politicians. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we're on the cusp in our in our federal government of you know passing climate legislation, and we have you know some politicians who make a lot of money from fossil fuels that are dragging their feet and going, "No, I don't want to do mm -hmm. this because I make you know I could." Possibly lose a lot of money, and so there is a frustration. Yes, um, but I think in the last, you know, the last decade, we've made a lot of progress in terms of people talking about it. People even, you know, um, I think just just that, just talking about it, is 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 a huge win. And so once you acknowledge, you know, you 
<laughs> 就想 OK 有什么办法要解决这个问题 Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I I agree with you. By the way, we're talking. We're yes. But uh, and talking is good. Is is good. But it's uh, getting a little late now. Mm. Uh, for more talk, it, mm. then we need to. We actually need to do something about it. Oh yeah. Um and like because and it, it extends beyond uh, oil companies. Frankly, going into yeah. ag- agriculture and things like that, like you know, cattle farming, this kind of farms. And those, they, there's a hell of a lot of 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 carbon carbon released by a. Uh, uh, you know, farming cows and stuff because of yeah. methane and all this kind of thing. 还有工厂啊， yeah. 很多的工厂也是啊。这我也为什么就是最近也不是几年，但是就是十五五年、十年也有很多很多的工厂 being shut down， 因为他们就是要把这个空气污染的问题给解决。Yeah. It's a huge problem. Also, the 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 the、uh, you know planes and and. The aerospace industry completely relies on this kind of thing, and it'd have to be entirely shut down. I, I don't know how it would work. There's no such thing as electric uh, yet. Yet, <laughs> come on, Elon, come on. Yeah, <laughs>、um, planes, right? Commercial. Uh, planes, there's no such thing. I'm very hopeful that the government will put money, put the government's money, then give it to Elon Musk, and then let him do all the research, all the research, and then put the money into the planes. 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 Then put the money into 最 powerful 的政府，他们没有办法把他们的心放在这个上面，这就是很可惜的部分啦。对啊，而且不，但是其实我们的事情全部都推给，就是你知道给政府，但是政府他们其实也有很多很多世界的问题需要去、yeah. 需要去解决啦。Yeah. 啊、is, is it too late? Is it too late?、Uh, Taiwan, for example, they I think they're banning sales of of scooters. Um, of of petrol、uh, gas scooters by twenty twenty thirty or twenty thirty five or something. Yeah, 还有十年 I think UK, the UK is doing the same thing with petrol cars. I think you're not you won't be allowed to sell petrol cars by twenty forty something like that. I'm assuming there's some kind of legislation in the US for a similar kind of thing. So stuff is happening. Is it too late? 有没有一些 policy? Is it too late? Well, California is you know、uh, it's. It, One of the the biggest economies in in、mm. in the world, and it's it's on the forefront of of this kind of climate legislation.、Mm-hmm. And so you're right; they are in California, at least. We there's the banning of the sale of of gas cars by 2035,、um, and there's a move right now to try to electrify our buildings,、um, and it's.、Um, It's starting, and I, it's really exciting to see it in California.、Um, and the the answer to your question, no, it's not too late. You know, the, I love how positive you are、be. about it. Yes. So、yeah. I mean, 当然有有小孩 <laughs> <laughs> No, but you know, the is it too late for what? So you know, there it's not too late to avoid the the worst effects of climate change. What are、and、the worst so, effects of climate change? So you know the worst effects of climate change. If you ever want to,、oh. you know, really dig in, there's a really good book called "The Uninhabitable Earth" from David Wallace Wells. He's a, a journalist who, he, oh my gosh, I couldn't make it through the entire book, but it was just、um, why you know there because there's the the fact of. Warming, you know, people people might think it's just warming, but no, it it causes all sorts of、uh, side effects into the way that we currently live, and so it affects, you know, the food we eat. There's going to be famine.、Um, the droughts that we have, they're going to be much more intense.、Um, there's going to be just so many places on Earth that become uninhabitable. There's already places that are are suffering. Uh, from extreme heat,、um, you know. I think in the Middle East, I, I remember seeing temperatures are usually like in the. You see in temperatures that it's not uncommon to see 120 degrees Fahrenheit,、mm. which is just nuts. And so people are dying from heat.、Um, and then you know, in some of the areas in Southeast Asia, like Bangladesh, you know, they're getting flooded all the time. And so you know, we're expecting something. On the order of one billion climate refugees, you know, moving from where they are currently to 
somewhere else and where is this somewhere else going to be? And so, um, you know, it's going to affect um, also infectious disease because as the world heats up, you know, mosquitoes are going to be spreading from their tropical spots and mm. um, it's, you know, people are going to be suffering from all those, you know, Zika and malaria and all those things, um, you know, and from a, from a health standpoint too, it's, um, you know, sometimes I think, how does climate have to do anything with dentistry? But it's, um, you know, I, it's, people are going to be just completely stressed out and there's all this mental health <laughs> issues that are related to all the climate disasters that happen. Mm. And, um, just COVID itself, I've seen people break all their teeth because, you know, they're just so stressed. And so, you know, um, with all the, it's, there's other things too, you know, where the air quality changes. So people have more air pollution and, mm. you know, there's, all the asthma, respiratory diseases, there's going to be more pollen, you know, if people have bad allergies already, they're going to have, mm. you know, worse issues with that. And, um, you know, with just sea level rise too, you know, there's projections that the the airports near us, Oakland and San Francisco, they're going to go underwater in 2050 if we don't do anything. Um, there are entire, uh, you know, indigenous peoples on islands that are going to be, you know, suffering from, losing their land, you know, where are they going to go? So, I mean, it's, it's a, it's just a cascade of so many things that that could go wrong. And that's like, you know, if you, if we do nothing, you know, with climate change unchecked, it's like you're, you're on a train and you're heading for a bridge that's out, you know, it's like, you can either take your hand, you know, foot off the, the accelerator, you can put on the brake. We're in that moment where we can do something about it. Um, when, and- when, if we don't do anything, let's say, we all just go gas crazy. Mm. When are we going to fall off the bridge? When are we going to fall off the track? 2040. You know, that's a good question, (laughs) but that's also, I'll pose you another question. Like how many cigarettes do you have to smoke before you get lung cancer? You know, is it going to be the the 10,000? You might never, you might never get it. Well, (laughs) I mean, if you're lucky, we know that that smoking is very linked to to lung cancer. For sure. I know that's you know, it's, there's certain things that are very much linked. And so, um, it's, it's like, how much, how much do you heat a boil, you know, a pot of water before it starts to boil? You know, it's like, is it at that, you know, one more minute, one more second, you know, it's, we're no, we know we're heading in that direction. We know we need to stop. It's just a matter of when, how, how do we, how do we slow it down? How do we try to reverse it as soon as possible? I would put slightly more urgency on that answer personally. Hmm. In a sense, mm. but I mean, because I mean, and sorry to, I don't know, whatever it is, but it feels like if, I mean, if there's no answer, there has to be, it, it, there needs to be more, more urgency on people stopping doing this kind of thing and, and being more vocal about it. Right. Cause if it's yeah. imminent, if you say, for example, ah, well, when could it, it might happen in 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, a lot of people would go, ah, well, you know, that's, that's, 我觉得这是因为他们没有在看一些像你说在北极南极的冰已经在融化每一年融化的越来越多速度越来越快。So the, the, the sea levels rise as well.Yeah,这些人他们其实没有去看到这一个地方,因为世界这么大,他们没有办法去follow这么多的就是看到 Climate change 的一些变化，像这个，我觉得 Nancy 好有 remind me of 台湾，就是那时候你记得吗？台湾就是天气也是越来越热，就像你说的，越来越热。然后以前哦，台湾是有台风的，那这个台风它是可以让台湾带来很多的rain，很多的水。到现在最近的五年。几乎一年只有一两个台风,不像以前,like before they were four or five. 那这些,这个是好的,但是有时候会可能cause一些flood不好。但是其实这是很重要,对台湾来说,台风是很重要。我们那时候缺水,we lack, we were lack of water. Yeah, 
影响到很多，而且是慢慢越来越严重。那你像那时候吧，好像是因为夏天的关系没有雨，那现在最近台湾下好多雨哦。嗯、And what happened? People forget. 嗯哼，他们就忘记了，嗯、他们就忘记有。呃，那个呃，旱灾，对干旱的这个问题，他们就忘记了，那他们就会重新就哦，没事了，台湾没事了，台湾有水了，嗯，然后一直在、嗯、再到夏天，他们就哦，不行了，那个呃，你知道，我们又要开始回到这个呃 climate change 的这个 issue， 所以大家都是反反复复，就是。有时候知道，然后忘记，或者知道又忘记，这个他们他们没有看到很多。Like 世界在改变。Humans only the majority of people only start acting properly. 对。At like the precipice of disaster, like at the peak of disaster, that's when people go, oh,、um, oh, we actually have to do something about it now. And, and, and that's the problem because you can talk about it and you can whatever, but until you. Most people won't do anything.、Mm. I mean, you know,、mm. raising awareness is great, and and this is. But people really need to,、mm. like、do. you, like yeah,、act. to do. It's it's about action now. The time to act is now. Now, yeah, for sure.、Um, people don't realize, like like Eula said, that climate change is happening right now. Yeah, and、yeah. so like being in California, you know, there are so many wildfires that are、oh, right. Yeah, just horrible smoke. And I think it's um, you know, a couple of years ago when when Jeremy was only two. You know, we didn't realize at that moment we had to have air purifiers in our home. It wasn't a thing,、mm. and so there was,、um, you know, days where it'd just be smoky outside. Oh, why is it orange? And then, you know, Jeremy would just have these bloody noses, and it was just、oh. like, you know, you shing、mm. tong,、uh, you know, you know, just, you know, you talk about how you know Kyrie, you mean in Taiwan 的时候 Kyrie 有那个咳嗽，对呀，空气污染。And it's just, oh, I was also thinking about Jeremy. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, it's it's um, you know, you hate to see your kids suffer, and so you know, my my um, my older kid, Aaron. You know, we were sitting down to sleep. When we were sleeping, you know, Aaron asked me, "Oh, I didn't sleep well because there was a lot of smoke. You know, like you know, what are you going to do? You're so you feel so helpless. Yeah. And so it's like it's happening right now. I've had patients lost homes. You know, and so it's like it's happening right now. I've had Patients lost homes. You know, staff have lost homes because of of wildfire, and we ourselves have, you know, experienced having a fire in our town. And、mm-hmm. we just we we let we were so prepared at that moment because there was so much going on. And we're like, okay, we're we're leaving. Unfortunately, we had family、um, on the other side of the bay, and so we just went there.、Mm-hmm. But you know, it's kind of this reality of like, oh, it's it could happen any moment. You know, you just it's 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 a scary feeling. But、yeah. I think that's partly what drives me. Is that you know? Every year, there's a fire. Every year, it's just like this constant reminder.、Um, okay. And the fire season starts earlier, and so it's it's always on my mind. And so that's what what makes me you know advocate advocate for change in、mm. any way I can. You know, if I'm at a restaurant and I talk, you know, talk to a waiter about composting, <laughs> that's yeah, one more、something. person.、Mm-hmm. So,、um, what what is the what's one thing that you would say to people? Uh, right now, about climate change, what can they do? What should they be doing? What's like the message you would give people? Well, what are you doing? You 做了什么？你现在正在做什么事情去改变这个气候变化的问题 ？Um, I think we talked about already is talking about it.、Mm-hmm. Um. And getting other people around you aware of that, you know, you care about this issue.、Um, the more people who care. The, the more they're likely to act. We're we're very social beings, and so something that I I started doing a couple of years ago was,、um, you know, what the what the 生活已经改了好多 You know, our lifestyles、mm-hmm. changed so much.、Um, but I felt like I, you know, no, it doesn't mean anything if people don't know about it. And so、um, on Facebook, I started to just. Take pictures and post.、Uh, this, this is what we do、mm. for our school lunches.、Mm. Oh, this is this is how we go to Disneyland. Zero waste. You know, it, it's just different things. I, I post about. I talk about it, and、mm. then it's interesting the different kind of feedback I've heard from from people who have gone on to become city council members, or you know, people who are running for you know representative in California. They're like, you know, the way you think about or talk about things, it's got me thinking too. Like. What would Nancy do in this situation?、Uh-huh. You know,、mm. and so it's kind of spreading the message that I care that、um, I I. This is my kid here. Oh, 
Oh, Aaron. Hi. Oh, <laughs> we saw the shadow. Yeah. We yeah. see the shadow. Mama, the mama, the total mama, the. And yeah. you know, just getting involved, you have to um, not just vote, but you you talk about it. You start doing just little things in your life. You know, there's this one book I really like. I put mm. together all the books that I've been reading. Oh, cool. And then there's this one called. Um, uh, the Parents' Guide to Climate Revolution. And mm. so 100 Ways to Build a Fossil-Free Future, Raise Empowered Kids, and Still Get a Good Night's Sleep by Mary DeMocker. Nice. Great book. It gives you 100 ways, you know, small to big, you know, mm. system changes, you know, just getting started, do something, talk about it. Um, I'm involved with our city um, on uh, drafting policy right now to cool. uh, electrify our buildings. Um, yes. new construction and we're working on possibly existing buildings, um, working on an EV ordinance, uh, so that it makes it easier for people to adopt electrical vehicles, especially in like multifamily housing, Tesla. um, <clears throat> as well as, you know, working on plastic, plastic is something, so oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, is, you're not is getting rid of, of plastic. <laughs> yeah. Well, I single use plastic, you know, just finding ways to reduce the amount of disposables that we have in our world. Look, it's, um, side note, I think yeah. in my opinion, when we die humans mm -hmm. at some point, where, where, whatever, we'll be living on Mars anyways, I don't make my but, but when a, an asteroid, mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When an asteroid hits us or whatever, something, we all die. A, a new virus and we will die. Mm. The earth will be fine. Mm. It will recover, How it's but it will be plus plastic. <laughs> it will be earth plus plastic. There will just be still plastic forever. We, we're in, we're in on Mars yeah. and, and the rest of the earth humans are gone, but there will be plastic. I don't know about us going to Mars. Really? You don't think? <laughs> but you know, the, the whole thing, you know, plastic, you know, well, oh. the survival game. We want to you even say, Jiang Su Liao, Su Jiao. Some of the Su The guys rough. were like talking yeah. about what is Su Liao? Yeah, <laughs> and I wanted to like, you know, reach out to you and go, oh, su liao is from you know, it's from yeah. fossil uh, fuel. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It, it's like, um, you know, it's it's part of the reason that, that fossil fuel companies want to keep going and promote all this plastic because they know, oh, people are going to be moving to electrical everything that yeah. we have to keep fossil fuel, you know, present in people's lives. And, you know, one of the ways they do that is through plastic. Mm. Um, but it's okay so, to have them in games. Because <laughs> that, that's not hurting anybody. <laughs> you can play games with plastic in it. Yeah, no, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like, you know, mm. you, like to your point, you mm -hmm. know, because it's fossil fuel, everything that, that we know is has been made from our our Earth's resources, our materials. And so I imagine, yeah. you know, as things kind of you know, as dinosaurs died and they became fossil fuel, like all of uh -huh. our stuff, even like the laptops, the microphone, everything, it'll, we will you know, too. it'll eventually, yeah. I don't think plastic, plastic will go back to fossil fuel. I don't think plastic has been around a long, a long enough for us to find out whether or not it actually disappears after any length of time. I'm it'll assuming. break up into small pieces. It must it, leave it at some point. It turns into microplastics. Yeah. We see that with all the little plastic film. Because they're in everything. Too. Microplastics mm. in everything. Yeah. 所以真的如果如果要說去很恐怖,對啊,如果說真的要去把它變得disappear是不可能,但是你可以去control,你可以去控制你用多少的塑膠袋,像在台灣我們是一個like yeah. drink beverage kingdom,就是我們有很多的飲料店,那飲料店他們會用的塑膠袋,還有塑膠的杯子,還有吸管真的是太多太多。But mm -hmm. they'll sometimes give you paper straws. Yeah,現在現在就變,現在他們就給你紙的那種,但是哦,他們有說就是以後可能stop oh. from 不知道哪哪一年或哪一天,他們就會開始就stop giving you anything. 那现在大家买什么？他们会买铁的那种straw。Yeah, metal straw，对，那个汤圆的的吸管是不是？对，那个汤圆的的吸管是不是？对，那个汤圆的的吸管是不是？对，那个汤圆的的吸管是不是？对，那个汤圆的的吸管是不是？对，那个汤圆的的吸
，在 even 在台湾好了，嗯、台湾真的是用塑料很多，因为那个。b e r r y shop， 所以呢，他们在这个地方小小的改变，但是是可以造成很大的影响。对我来说啦，嗯、对啊，对对对，对在 Berkeley， 我们嗯、um, 旁边的 Berkeley， 他们有一个一个一个 law， 他们就说，如果你要一个一个塑料杯子，还是有用一次的，有 If you want a disposable cup， 嗯，你要付一元的。Yeah, I don't know the equivalent, but you have to pay something to be able to have a disposable cup, and so it's almost like if you want a, you know, if you want a bag, then you have to pay ten cents fee. And so there's the psychology of, you know, if you, it's the carrot or the stick. Is it the discount that's gonna, in, you know, invite people to make that change, or is it gonna be the the fee that's gonna To, to cause people to change, they find that the the, the fee I think causes people to think more Money. about it and go, yeah. oh, oh, I have to pay ten cents more for a bag. I'll I'll just carry everything out. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 真的有些人会觉得说那个钱哎还好，他们就会哦我买了。所以我觉得我可以 argue 就是说把钱把那个价格的 price 再提高一点，比如说 like two dollars, three dollars 还是什么，就是把它变得对啊，对啊，不是不是那个 US dollars。哦哦，就是一一一元两元 ，maybe 更多，就是让你觉得说啊，这么多钱呢、哦嗯？那我干嘛要带？我干嘛要买一个 dissolvable 袋子 ？dissolvable、嗯、dissolvable 袋子，我就把我就带着我自己的那个我们说的环保袋，就是自己的袋子去买东西。嗯、我觉得那个价格可以再更高一点，就是让更多人。嗯、we have bags for life, don't we? 对，对、yeah. ，We call them bags for life here. I don't, I don't know what you guys call. <laughs> What are、okay. bags for life? So you, when you go to like、uh, Costco or something, you can buy、mm-hmm. these recyclable massive bags, bags, massive bags, but they're called bags for life. So you pay like a whatever、oh, a pound for them or whatever, and they're supposed、oh. to last forever. So you only basically、huh. you just keep using the same bag over and over again、mm. instead of buying plastic bags continuously. Oh, we use IKEA. We have IKEA ones. We bought three IKEA bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you save yeah, yeah. you said、uh, oh sorry, did you have another thing to say about that? No. Oh, oh, um, you said that you brought a bunch of books with you. You had to mention two so far. What other ones you got there? Oh. <laughs> so this is one that I read when I started. Just on this journey、mm. of going to zero waste, and so this lady、um, was is yeah, from the Bay Area. Yes, Nancy. Writing about how she was.、Uh, well, the original, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, 刚刚那一本书叫 Zero Waste. Yeah, it's called Zero. Is it Zero Waste Home by Nancy? Yeah, by, no. Oh. By Bea Johnson. Oh, oh Bea Johnson. Oh, your name. Oh, that's your. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. That's his name. I put my name on it、oh. because I sometimes lend it out to to friends. Oh, 刚刚还想说 Nancy 写书哎。Oh yeah, I, I said it. I said it. I thought it was also Nancy. That's why I was saw. I was saw. That's yes, Nancy. Oh, my name is Nancy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is another one. Is that my plastic free life? This is just something bad. Okay, okay. Yeah, ah, my plastic free life. That's an interesting one. Plastic free life. Yeah, my plastic free life. Um, and then this one. Gotcha. Food is the solution. It is. It、and、is the、so, solution. You know, the way that we eat and the way we grow food is is super important. And so, 哎、hey, ，对、um, ，现在那个 vegan burger 已经越来越有名了。<laughs> Even 在台湾也是。The plant based ones. A plant, 对。The, the, like yeah, yeah. 那叫什么植？我们说植物。Oh, 呃，中中文是植物肉，就是 plant meat. It's yeah. I think it's、oh, okay. called plant based. 对,对，就可是好。Is it corn? I don't know. Impossible, like maybe impossible, the impossible burger. Burger, yeah, Beyond Burger.、Um, I I personally really like the Impossible Burger. I haven't had a real burger since. Are you a vegan? Impossible. You're vegetarian. I am not.、Um, I would say I'm a reducitarian. Mostly try to be vegetarian.、Um, it was since learning about you know the impact of agriculture, and so.、Um, oh. It, it's it's interesting how how food can be such a hard thing to to talk about with.、Mm. with. No, Nancy. Come back. Come back, Nancy. We've lost Nancy. Oh, oh、um, no, she's back. Uh oh. We lost you for a moment there. Oh, can you hear me?、Uh, yeah, you. Oh you, no. Okay. We lost you for a moment, but it's okay. You're back. Sorry. What were you saying? Okay. Yeah. So I was saying that、um, you asked me if if I'm am I vegetarian or not. Yes.、So、yes. I,、um, I I would say I'm mostly vegetarian. I try to reduce the amount of meat that I eat.、Um, it's it's、uh, we don't do dairy at home.、Um, 
But, you know, when we do go out, I, I will admit, you know, sometimes it is hard to find the, the veggie option that my kids will eat. So, you know, this is how we go out, you know, the kids will see, oh, it's a little bit. Oh, okay, no, we want to, you know, chicken nuggets, or, mm. you know, or, you know, we go to a, a Chinese, not a Chinese restaurant, but sometimes we'll, we'll go somewhere and then, oh, Tommy, you know, Chen Pi Ji, orange chicken for some reason. <laughs> it's just a, a favorite, but it, it could be so hard to, to cut it out completely. And we don't necessarily recommend it's, you know, all or nothing, but I think it's just a, a, an awareness being trying to just reduce. Mm. Um, Yeah, but we don't really eat beef um, at home. And sometimes if we're out with like, you know, yeah, yeah, nai nai, gong gong po po, you know, we'll the order, you know, xiao long bao or, you know, like mm. bao zi or something. And it's just like, ah, yeah. okay, we'll <laughs> you know, it's, it hasn't yeah. changed yet to the point where, you know, there's no pork at all in the world. So it's like, well, okay. I, I, think, there's, I, think, there's, pork. I think there's more more cows and than there are people or something yeah like there, there are yeah. way, way more yeah because we they just we breed them to eat it's just like and there's so many people we, we actually like I, i know there's a lot there's a big argument about world hunger and stuff but there is we have a load of food we have a mm. lot more food than we need mm. way more and there's also a population problem as well isn't it we talked about that before yeah but i think 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 厨师他们现在也可以大家一起来帮助这地球是他们也可以创造自己的那个菜单就是不要有这么多肉对不对他们也可以做这件事情啊帮助对啊可是要有人这样讲对所以 so it helps if you have people who who say oh can can you offer something that you know is is less carbon intensive than what you have on your menu right now. Mm, you know, we just yeah. went to Disneyland um, and it was very interesting to see that there were so many plant-based options. Oh, they say really? they have possible meatballs oh. or, you know, they had, um, I think I eat a, a, a Vietnamese banh mi, you know, oh. and then they have the possible the, the impossible. Oh. My problem with impossible is tasty. here... Like similar brands, I'm not sure if it's Impossible specifically, or, but it's plant-based meat. It's very expensive. Very expensive, like Thai. It, it, when you pay like five dollars for yeah. a, what, a steak or two steaks or something, mm. or chicken is like really cheap. And Impossible mm. Burger is the same price. You get like two or one mm. of them. It's just like this is a problem. Ah, is this is a problem? Because it's too expensive. People won't choose the expensive option. They will choose the cheapest option. Yeah, it's not. 对你健康那么好, you know, it's not like a uh, a one for one, like this is going to be very healthy for you. It, it's mm. not. <laughs> I mm. wouldn't say it's the healthiest thing for you, but it's just an alternative that's yeah. less carbon intensive. And then, you know, I, I'm curious, well, then how do you compare it to tofu or xiang douzi? You know, you can people don't realize you can still get protein mm. from other sources yeah. that are not mm. animal based. Nuts. So. Yeah, nuts, whole grains, oats, mm, chia seeds, quinoa, you know, even you, you can get protein from other things. <laughs> saying that, um, have you heard of the carnivore diet? Carn the carnivore diet. This is, that is not a thing. That's a Some people say they are on the Atkins diet and yeah. then they just eat meat all and the time. Keto, <laughs> ke ke keto diet and that kind of thing. I haven't tried oh, this. Keto diet, yeah. But keto the, keto the, diet. the carnivore thing. This is a real. Carnivore, Carnivore, <laughs> I'm on the cannibal diet. No, especially on the podcast. Carnivore, yeah, just eat meat, right? Carnivore. Yeah, you, yeah, that's a real thing. You can just eat meat, and I, a lot of people swear by it. Some other people don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. blah blah blah. Many people don't like it. Yeah, but I'd like There's to no see no fiber. There's no fiber in meat, and from a health professional standpoint, it's it's. Very unhealthy to be just eating. Google it. <laughs> Google it. I know because I think uh, these guys, what they did, I haven't done this, but what they did is essentially just eat meat. It was like steak and water for like a month. 
right? Wow. But and then they took uh, what do you call them? Uh, vitamin vitamin C supplements, vitamin mm. supplements uh, for the other vitamins, and they said a lot of their autoimmune disorders disappeared, vitiligo wow. and all this kind of stuff. So. I don't know. They probably got very constipated, though. Probably, yeah, probably, <laughs> right? It backed up for sure. Backed up for sure. I don't know. Look, every other week, mm. the newspaper's saying eggs yeah. will give you cancer. They won't give you cancer. True. All this kind of, you know, this food is bad for you. That food's good for you now. It's bad for you again. I don't know who to believe anymore. I believe Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> That's who I believe. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. <laughs> Do you have any um, groups mm. that you would like to... Promote for people to come and see, or places that you gather interesting information, or yeah. Let everyone know. Yeah. Hmm. Well, um, there, there, there is one that's made a huge difference in my life, um, and I'm actually wearing a little green ring to to represent them. Oh yeah. Climate reality. Um, climate reality project. They are global. Um, it's a nonprofit where they go and um, basically talk to communities and invite people to come so that they can learn to talk about climate change with their communities. Because mm. um, you know, it, just like this, you know, I I I don't think I would have had the 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 oh the energy motivation to to reach out to you had I not had you know, this kind of mentality that there are other people around the world working on this, that this is something, you know, um, it's, it's a good organization, but, mm. um, there's climate reality. I think in, um, in the U S there's another one that's good as the citizens climate lobby, um, kind of going into politics too, where they're, you know, advocating for price on carbon. Um, there are a lot of, you know, charitable organizations around the world that are doing great work. Um, it's hard to name, you know, one or two. I'm sure there, there's so many on Google you can you can look up, but mm. um, those are probably just the first two I'd, I'd mention. So find your local groups. Yeah. Yeah. Get involved, whatever, whatever is local to you. Cities change the world. You know, mm. you, you, you get something small to start and then you get, other cities that look at it and then it, it spreads. And so yeah. like, I remember a couple of years ago when, when Berkeley started, Berkeley's always like the, the forefront of, of climate legislation. They're the ones who, who started with building electrification and so, slowly we've got, Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know if it's like a hundred cities now that have started to ban natural gas in buildings. And so it's, it spreads. And so the easiest way to get involved is is locally mm. through the mm. people you know through the connections you already have do you i've got a quick question about berkeley is that yeah. is, is is that there's a place in boston called berkeley is it's not that one no is it based in the this is berkeley california got it okay um just double check i just double check in, oh. in oh. california okay you may on one uh, radiators. Heater? Yeah, like heaters. Yo. Yo? Oh, are they gas? Tang Tang Shi. Yeah. So, yeah. Then, you say, cut it. Well, yeah, because well, for us, for example, <laughs> in, in the UK, well, obviously in, in Taiwan, it's not Yeah, we're not heat. And and obviously, our, our uh, uh, what do you call it in English? Oh, God, it's gone out of my head now. Hong Tiao. No? Uh, yeah, air conditioning. Air conditioning. Oh, uh, you're just thinking English. I forgot English. I forgot English. Sorry, I don't know what you're thinking. Yeah, my job isn't to speak Chinese, but like, so I was like, I'm struggling. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Yeah, that's what I want. Um, in in Taiwan, we have air conditioning, but no no radiators, no heaters. You got said you got heaters, but you also must have uh, lunch. Lunch. Oh, two? Air conditioning. My God. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you bring up a good point. Yeah. So there, the there's air conditioners, and mm. then there's the heaters, yep. and then there's something else called the heat pump. <gasps> and so that's mm. something that is um, can function as an AC as well as a heater. And the it's super efficient, except for in places where it's super cold. But like in Tahoe, um, but the England, uh, maybe England, England. I don't know. But yeah, it, it's elect. It can run on electricity, and it it functions in. It basically moves heat, so it's not generating heat. 
Um, and so that's how it, it's super efficient because it's it's only moving heat. It's a it's the same to- technology that exists in their you know in our mm-hmm. our refrigerators. How do our refrigerators, our freezers, stay cold? Mm-hmm. Well, they're basically just moving heat um, mm-hmm. out of your refrigerator to keep everything cold in there. And so, um, you know, so it just works in reverse. You know, depending on what the season yeah. is. I- I'm sure there is some kind of technology out there, electrical alternative for, cause in England, obviously all households have heaters. It's quite a cold place. Mm. Um, we'd have some, have to have some, I'm sure there's some kind of electrical alternative to gas heaters. Cause this is all gas, right? There must be. There are electric yeah, heaters. Yeah. There are electric radiators. There are electric resistance heaters, which are more energy intensive, but yeah. they are, they are electric. Yeah. <sighs> Wow. once you know the issue, then you know the problem, this will affect my life very huge in 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 the future or you know affect my kids. Kids, yeah. So 能够有一份心力，然后去参加一些local的活动，去改变这个世界。我相信不会太晚，nothing is too late。但是如果太晚的话，会需要有更多更多的effort to change the situation。对啊，谢谢Nancy今天来到我们的广播，感谢感谢。然后感谢感谢你们请我来。I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be a part two. I, I'm still full of questions. Also, I haven't asked any questions about dentistry. So we'll have to... <laughs> I was say, you're probably going to ask me about teeth. <laughs> I know. It just, we've hit over the hour now, and yeah. so we don't want to take oh, too much yeah. more of your time. Mm. But um, part two, I'm sure, no, hopefully, whenever you're available, and mm. uh, I will just be grilling you about teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe your husband about engineering because that's also a super oh. interesting thing if he fancies jumping on uh, <laughs> check out the books that uh, Nancy recommend how you yes. organizations what that got? Nancy recommended what have we got again sorry the books very quickly Zero Waste Home first one was The Uninhabitable Earth by right. David Wallace Wells <laughs> Um, the second one I think I mentioned was the parents guide to climate revolution, 100 ways to build a fossil free future, raise empowered kids and still get a good night's sleep from Mary DeMocker. Keeping the title short, I see they did that. (laughs) Zero waste, zero home, a zero waste home from Bia Johnson. Uh Um, and then plastic free life from Beth Terry. Um, and then just fun for kids, you know. There's always oh, the, nice. Lorax. Like, the Lorax, Lorax. Yeah. you know, from Dr. Seuss. I know uh-huh. sometimes I've used quotes from there. I speak mm. for the trees. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah. Um, this is another one I kind of like too. What a waste. It's, um, it is from Jess French. It's got really cool graphics. It's great for adults as well as kids. So if you want to talk mm, about energy yeah. or, yeah. you know, disposables or plastic, you know, this is, it's it's a nice um, way to kind of. I hope they're doing it in schools. Oh, do I? I hope they're doing it in schools. Mm, doing what? In schools. Teaching important. about this this subject. I hope they're doing about it. about climate change. Yeah. yeah, and about how how to you know handle it and how to behave better. Yeah, start from kids. They should be educating them. Right? They're the next generation. Yeah, I very much agree. Yeah. <laughs> And but find out your own. Not um, as prevalent as we would like it to no. be. And that's where we parents can advocate for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And okay. find out your uh, yeah. local organizations. Try and help the earth. How ma? Bye bye. Bye bye.